You have no idea who someone is in the spirit. Our vessel, our human avatar is what it is. It's an avatar. All it is is a meat suit for our true essence, our consciousness, our soul to take over, to operate through this matrix. But your higher self is a completely different story. We all have different higher selves. We all come from different galactic lineages. And this is what I mean when I say you have no idea who someone is in the spirit. Don't ever underestimate anybody. I'm compelled to share this story today, even though this happened years ago. But I guess a lot of you have to hear this. So I live in New York, and if you live in New York, you know, or major cities like Los Angeles and stuff, there are a lot of drugged up, kind of mentally ill homeless people, unfortunately. And they can be very dangerous, especially at night if you're taking the train or public transportation. So about three years ago, I was on public transportation. I was taking the train home and there was this crazy homeless man who looked like he was about to kill somebody. Like there was 100% some kind of demonic attachment on him. I'm psychic, I can see it. And if you're psychic, you know, demonic attachments usually look like a black aura on the top of their crown chakra. So that homeless man who was probably drugged up was walking down the train cart. He was trying to make eye contact with anybody that was willing because he was going to do something very dangerous. I could feel it. And I was scared to even look at him, so I kept looking down, or I tried, to ke I tried to look anywhere else but him. And so I looked adjacent to me, and there was like this um, middle-aged Caucasian man, big, beautiful blue eyes. And there was just something about his energy that was quite different from everybody else. And he accidentally made eye contact with that crazy man. But here's the funny thing. That crazy homeless man who was trying to intimidate and try to, trying to attack everybody else on the train cart, when he made eye contact with that kind looking middle-aged man, he looked scared. Like that drugged up homeless man looked terrified. All of a sudden, I could sense that like that demonic attachment just like left its body because that d demon that was in the homeless man's body sensed who that middle-aged man higher self was. That man that was just sitting adjacent to me, that kind looking big blue-eyed man, he didn't even have to do anything. All he just all he did was just casually look up and then that homeless man like freaking ran for his life like he was so terrified of what he saw and so i was curious I, I started to look at him i'm like what did he see right i was trying to dissect the energy of the man that was sitting adjacent to me and it has taken me years to figure out what his higher self is but now i think i know i think he was a part of the angelic bloodlines and if you are familiar with angels or you have seen angels, you know that they are warriors. They are very authoritative. They're not the whole love and light, like, oh, well, unconditional love, like the new age spirituality wants to push onto you. Angels are nothing like that. Angels are warriors. This is why angels are always depicted with some kind of weapon, like a, like a sickle or a sword. And I think what that homeless man saw in that man was an angel of death or Azrael. Now this leads me to talk about your higher self. If you are unaware, human beings, we are hybrids. We are hybrids of over 12 different, and probably even more, um, alien galactic races. I talk about this in my book. You can find it in my bio. It is linked in my bio. My book goes into the true human history. We are not what you think we are. Our DNA comes from galactic lineages, but you have to realize that everything stems from one source, right? So some people's lineages can actually be from angelic bloodlines. Seraphim, Orphim, Azrael, you know, the, the angel of death, like even Archangel Michael. And some other people's genetic lineage can be from fallen angelics or basically just, you know, negative extraterrestrials. We're talking about the Draco Reptilians, the Anunnaki, um, the Zeta Greys. So the moral of the story is don't ever underestimate who somebody higher self is. The vessel may look human, but you have no idea what their true essence is or the power that they hold. I actually can think of one friend who every time somebody does her wrong, somehow the person who did her wrong, their life falls to shit. It's like she has a legion of these spirit guides or, or galactic lineage or angels protecting her. This is why it's very important to remain humble and to never underestimate or overestimate yourself.